This video was made possible thanks to the generosity of our incredible patrons. You guys are indescribably cool. Hello everyone and welcome to another EDH gameplay video brought to you by Affinity for Commander. My name is Martin. And my name is Alex. Today we have a very bizarre game involving a lot of instant speed shenanigans. You'll also get to see my new Greven deck in action, so be sure to take a look at the deck list in the video's description. With that being said, let's take a look at those opening hands. My commander is Greven, Predator Captain. I keep an opening hand of Swift Foot Boots, Prowler's Helm, Outmaneuver, Grotesque Mutation, a Swamp and two Mountains. Tom's commander is Grenzo Dungeon Warden. He keeps an opening hand consisting of Soul Devi Adnate, Judith the Scourge Diva, Beetleback Chief, Chaos Warp, Evolving Wilds, Cinder Barons, and a Mountain. Thomas is playing his Lizolver, the Blood Witch deck, and has gone all out supporting his guild of Rakdos themed sleeves and nail polish. His opening hand contains Animate Dead, Chaos Wand, and Three Swamps. And Terence, who didn't get the memo about playing a Black Red Commander, is playing Imara, Soul of the Accord. His starting hand is made up of Spike Feeder. Tristani Discordant, Celestia Signant, Divine Visitation, Soul to Plowshares, New Benelia, and a Forest. I win the die roll and start the game off by playing a Swamp, and then pass to Terence. Terence plays New Benelia, keeping the top card of his library where it is, and then passes the turn. Tom plays Evolving Wilds, immediately sacrificing it to put a Swamp into play. He then ends his turn. Thomas plays a Swamp and then passes to Martin. I play a Mountain and cast Swiftfoot Boots. I then pass the turn. Terence plays a forest and casts his commander, Emara, Soul of the Accord. He then ends his turn. Tom plays a mountain and casts his own commander, Grenzo, Dungeon Warden. He then passes to Thomas. Thomas plays a mountain and casts Milliken. He then passes the turn. I play a swamp and cast Unspeakable Symbol. I then end my turn. Terence plays Slurs near Gilgate and then moves to combat. He attacks Thomas with his commander, creating a 1-1 soldier token with lifelink and dealing him 2 damage. In his post-combat main phase, Terence casts Lesnia's Signet and then passes to Tom. Tom plays Cinder Barons and then passes the turn. Thomas plays a Swamp and mills a card with Milliken to cast Hedron Crawler. He then ends his turn. I play a Mountain and cast Wall of Blood. I then equip my shoes to the wall and Tom responds by activating Grenzo's ability. He puts Vampire Hexmage into play, and I pass to Terence. Terence plays Survivor's Encampment, and uses it to tap his commander, creating another soldier token. He then casts Tristani Discordant, creating two more soldiers, and passes the turn. Tom plays Smouldering Marsh, and then ends his turn. Thomas plays a Swamp, and mills a car with Milliken to cast Knight Incarnate. He then passes to Martin. I play Cinder Barons, and cast Soul Drinker, and then pass the turn. Terence plays a forest and then moves to combat. He attacks Thomas with all of his tokens and Thomas blocks one of them with his elemental. Tom responds by activating Grenzel's ability twice, revealing a mountain and mad auntie. The goblin is put into play, Thomas takes 6 damage and Terence gains 8 life from his creature's lifelink. In his second main phase, Terence casts Divine Visitation and then ends his turn. Tom plays Canyon Slough and then passes to Thomas. Thomas mills yet another card with Milliken and casts his commander, Lizolda the Blood Witch. He then passes the turn. I cast my commander, Greven, Predator, Captain, and then end my turn. Terence uses Survivor's Encampment to tap Imara, making an angel token thanks to his enchantment. He then passes to Tom who responds by activating Grenzel's ability twice. He rolls a Swamp and Noose Graph Mob, putting the latter onto the battlefield with 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, and then proceeds to his turn. Tom casts Magus of the Moon and removes a plus one plus one counter from his Noosecraft mob to create a 2 2 zombie token. Tom then passes the turn. Thomas plays a Mountain, mills a card with Milliken, and casts Chaos Wand. Tom removes a plus one plus one counter from his mob, makes a zombie, and Thomas ends the turn. I move my Swiftfoot boots over to Greven and then move to combat. I attack Terence with my commander and he blocks a captain with two angels. I respond to this by casting Out Maneuver. Tom removes a counter from his mob to make a zombie, and I activate Unspeakable Symbol 6 times, losing 18 life, putting 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on Greven, and giving Greven a further 18 power from his own ability. Before damage, Tom activates Grenzo's ability, revealing Gonti, Lord of Luxury. He targets me with Gonti's ability, stealing one of the top 4 cards from my library, 
and Thomas then activates Chaos Wand, targeting Terence. Terence reveals cards from the top of his library until he hits Seasons Past, which Thomas casts. Tommy removes a counter from Newscraft Mob, making a zombie, and Thomas puts the four cards in his graveyard into his hand. Tom then decides to sacrifice his Hex Mage, removing the plus one plus one counters from Grevin, and Alt's maneuver finally resolves. I cast Grotesque Mutation, giving my commander plus three plus one and lifelink, and Tom removes the final counter from his mob, reducing its toughness to zero and creating another zombie. Terence takes 26 commander damage, knocking him out of the game in one hit, and I gain 26 life thanks to Grevin's lifelink. I then pass to Tom. Tom casts the Fury Charm that he stole from Martin's deck with Gonti, using it to destroy Martin's Swiftfoot boots. Next he moves to Karmat, attacking Martin with all five of his zombies, and Martin responds by paying three life to put a plus one plus one counter on his Soul Drinker. Not yet finished, Martin pays two life to give his wall plus two plus two with his own ability, and blocks two of the zombies. Martin takes six, and Tom passes the turn. Thomas plays a swamp, and then mills a card of Milliken to cast Corvass Fury. He chooses the friend mode for himself and the foe mode for Tom and I, and Tom responds to this by casting Chaos Warp, targeting Grevin. I shuffle my library, revealing Live Fast as my next card. Tom takes six, and I take three. Thomas then discards five cards, draws six, and casts Insolent Neonate. He then ends his turn. Martin casts Live Fast, drawing two cards, losing two life, and gaining two energy. He then plays a Swamp and passes to Tom. Tom draws for turn and then passes without casting anything. Thomas responds to this by sacrificing his Neonate, discarding a card and drawing a card. He then proceeds to his turn. Thomas plays Graven Cairns and casts a Vindicative Lich. He then passes to Martin. I cast Ancient Craving and Tom responds by flashing in Dual Caster Mage, copying the spell. We both draw three cards and lose three life and I play a Swamp before passing the turn. Tom responds to this by activating Grenzo's ability, putting Goblin Crater Maker onto the battlefield before moving to his turn. Tom casts Crucible of Worlds and plays a Swamp from his graveyard. Next he casts Thran Turbine and then moves to combat. Tom attacks Martin with three zombies, dual cast a mage and Gaunty. Martin pays two life to give his wall plus two plus two, blocks two zombies and takes six damage. Tom then ends his turn and Thomas responds by activating his wand milling a card with Milliken. He targets Martin with the wand, hitting Charger's Ignition, which he then casts targeting Vindictive Lich. Tom responds to this by regenerating Grenzo with his Mad Auntie, and each creature, Tom and Martin, are dealt 4 damage. Knight Incarnate's ability then triggers, giving everything on the battlefield minus 3 minus 3, and Tom activates Grenzo's ability in response. He puts Murderous Red Cap into play, dealing 2 damage to Thomas, and all creatures in play are destroyed. Murderous Red Cap is then returned to play with a minus one minus one counter on it, and Tom deals Thomas one damage with its ability. Vindictive Lich's ability then resolves, and Thomas chooses Martin to discard two cards, and for Tom to sacrifice his only creature. Finally finished, Thomas proceeds to his turn. Thomas plays Smoldering Marsh and casts Corpse Augur. He then passes to me. Martin plays a Swamp and recasts his commander. He then passes the turn. In his upkeep, Tom adds two colourless mana to his mana pool with Thran Turbine, which he does nothing with. Oh dear. He then plays a mountain from his graveyard, recasts his commander, and ends his turn. Thomas responds by once again activating Chaos Wand, this time targeting Tom. Unfortunately for Thomas, Tom's deck doesn't contain any more instants or sorceries for him to steal, resulting in Tom revealing his entire library, shuffling it, and putting it back. Everyone has a good laugh, and Thomas moves to his turn. Thomas recasts his commander, and then sacrifices Corpse Augur to her ability. He chooses Tom as his target, drawing 10 cards and losing 10 life, and then draws an additional card from Lazolda's ability. Next, Thomas plays a mountain, and then casts Soldavi Adnate. He then passes to Martin. I play a swamp, and then cast Prowler's Helm. I equip the helm to Grevin, and Tom responds by activating Grenzo's ability. He reveals Meteor Golem as the bottom card of his library, and celebrates being able to destroy my commander. His joy is short-lived though, as he quickly realises that his golem's power is greater than Grenzo's, preventing him from putting it into play. Sad times. Next I cast Blood Celebrant and move to combat. I attack Tom with my commander, and pay 12 life to activate Unspeakable Symbol 4 times, putting 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on Greven. This raises Greven's power to 21, dealing Tom lethal commander damage, and securing a second 1-hit KO from my commander. I then pass the turn. 
Thomas plays Foreboding Ruins and then casts Dark Petition. He searches library for either Dance of the Dead or Animate Dead. Realizes that both of these cards are in his graveyard and curses the fact that his World Gorge Dragon combo can no longer be achieved. Thomas chooses a different card and casts Lightning Axe, targeting Blood Celebrant. He discards a card as part of the axe's additional cost and then moves to combat. Thomas attacks Martin with his commander and Martin responds by casting Devour in Shadow, targeting the Blood Witch. Thomas responds to this by sacrificing his commander to her own ability, dealing Martin 2 damage and drawing a card. Devour in Shadow fizzles and Thomas moves to his post-combat main phase. He then misreads Soldavia Adnate, sacrificing Chaos One to their ability to add 4 black mana to his mana pool and cast Torment of Hailfire where X is 2. Martin sacrifices Unspeakable Symbol and Prowler's Helm, and Thomas then ends his turn. I cast Molten Steel Dragon and then move to combat. I attack Thomas with Grevin and activate my dragon's ability, paying 2 life to give it plus 1 plus 0, but more importantly giving Grevin plus 2 plus 0. Not yet finished, I cast Humor Battle Rage, giving my commander double strike. This gives him 22 power, dealing Thomas lethal commander damage and winning me the game. Well that's it for another episode. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave us a comment, we read every single one of them. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter, at 4commander, and feel free to check out our Patreon page, links are in the description. We'll see you next time.